What's up everyone, Tom from the Airsoft Headquarters here and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about five things you absolutely need to know about gas blowback rifles before you decide to make this your primary rifle. Now getting right into it, number one is you need to realize that the starting price point of a gas blowback rifle system of a trusted brand is going to be very stupid expensive. Now I'm very well aware that there are going to be brands on the market that offer a gas blowback rifle system at a lower overall cost value. What people don't realize and probably don't put a lot of research into is the fact that once people make that initial lower cost decision, decision is that they eventually spend more money in trying to accumulate parts and performance base of components in order to be competitive with some of those middle or even sub high tier rifle systems. Now, what are some of the brands that I personally trust? KWA, VFC, GHK, and while I personally have not had any experience with the Tokyo Marui style of stuff for a gas blowback rifle specifically, I hear a lot of really great things, especially from overseas stuff, you know, for being able to utilize them at a lower jewel level and still remain competitive within a close quarters airsoft field. So overall, I hear a lot of great things about Tokyo Marui there. And I've run the VFC and KWA and have been able to shoot some of the GHK rifles here inside the shop. So overall, those are the ones that I really enjoy and I would suggest for anyone that's looking for a gas blowback rifle system to utilize. If I didn't mention any of the brands that you are looking at or you favor, there's a reason for that. Number two that you need to be aware of is going to be not only is the rifle itself going to be stupid expensive, but the magazines are going to be a recurring cost as well. Same with the gas needed to operate these. Now we also need to look at the total magazine carrying capacity compared to other systems on the market. So AEG magazines, generally about 120 total rounds per magazine versus these guys here for the standard style magazines, these for KWA at least hold 40 total rounds. Now to demonstrate just how uneven the capacity is on these magazines, I set the bar for 500 total rounds. This here is 13 gas magazines holding a total of 520 rounds compared to only four standard PTS EPM magazines for a carrying capacity of 560 magazine or 60 BBs, not magazines, 60 BBs, 560 BBs. Now, I don't know about you, but I personally find that holding four magazines on my person is significantly easier than trying to hold 13. Can it be done? Yes. Have I personally done it? Yes. Is it a huge pain in the ass? Yes. So just for the ease and lower cost overall, like lower cost of 13 magazines versus four, you know, AEGs overall are going to take the win on this one, especially considering the fact that we had these EPM one magazines, you know, 500 total rounds with just two magazines. So now we have other options on the market for battery powered systems to allow you to carry more magazines. I have been able to play with four total gas powered magazines on my person. The difference between battery powered magazines and gas powered magazines is you need to be way more selective and change your play style based on the shots that you would need to take. Such as if there's someone a little bit farther away, maybe I took take one or two shots at them instead of the five or six to really lay down their heads, right? The action of the bolt, even from a distance, can be a psychological use as far as being able to get people to duck their heads down, right? Instead of trying to lay five or six down towards a person in order to impact the walls or around the head in order to get them to duck back, the cycling of the bolt will get them to jump backwards as well. Like, ooh, that's a new sound in airsoft. Haven't heard that one before. So we have some advantages and disadvantages when it comes to these gas powered systems. Thing number three that you need to be aware of is that maintenance is an absolute chore when it comes to gas powered systems. I have seen so many people just come in with their gas blowback pistols that are dry, not maintained, not oiled, not taken care of, and they wanna get into a rifle system. 
Well, unfortunately, based on the evidence that you have put right in front of me, well, not you specifically, but the person that have, has come in, um, I wouldn't suggest a gas powered system because of the lower maintenance that you have demonstrated just on a pistol platform, right? Pistol platforms are designed to be a little bit more forgiving when it comes to all of those parts moving back and forth on each other versus a rifle system, especially at that higher price, is going to be a little bit more precision balance of internal components. Um, and if you don't carefully maintain those parts and components, it's not going to work and it's not going to operate. It's going to break down. And that leads us right into number four. Parts and components for gas blowback systems tend to be a little bit more expensive and a little bit more scarce compared to AEG systems, right? Just as that comparison you're not going to be able to get a whole lot of upgradable parts because like I was saying before, there is a little bit more delicate of a balance compared to battery powered systems, especially with modern manufacturing processing. So you won't get a whole lot of upgradability. Um, you won't be able to make it super awesome, customizable. While there certainly are options, um, there are not nearly as many compared to battery powered rifles or even gas blowback pistols in some cases or a lot of cases actually. So that needs to be taken into account as well. You may need to be a little bit more forgiving as far as being able to run with a little bit more bare bones stock rifle system. And to wrap it up, number five is once you get yourself and the rifle into the groove, of working well together, right? You know how to maintain it, you know how to play with it, and it's going to work for you. It is the coolest rifle system on the market as far as what you can experience, right? Sure, there are battery powered systems that are super cool, super fast rate, um, super high speed, but a gas blowback system, something is just so satisfying and cool with having that bolt cycle back with every single shot. And even with this guy, it's got a little cloud of smoke that comes out of the muzzle and it's very realistic. You couldn't even begin to mimic like 3D printed or home remedy your own gas expulsion system from a battery powered standpoint, you know, just to try to get that same overall it's just so cool. It's just awesome. I that's one of the things that I love about the gas blowback rifle system that I have. This one I have just an example. And if you're okay with the previous four things that I had mentioned, those four other things, you know, having a higher cost of the rifle, higher cost of the magazine, having to maintain them and not having parts readily available. This is an excellent, awesome option. Now there are other options on the market from said brands like KWA that are going to be very similar to a gas blowback, but are still going to be battery powered. One of those is the KWA T10. Now the T10 is from the electric recoil system assembly from KWA. Uh, so they have a very large copper bolt that sits back here and everything is your, your standard version two gearbox with the exception of that copper bolt that's sitting back here. And so every time you fire, it's going to send some recoil into your shoulder, mimicking a gas blowback rifle system. In fact, I've had optics and flashlights break on these T10s. Um, so you have that realistic action while also being able to utilize those battery powered tools and accessories, right? Especially, you know, having a battery system, you know, the hand in hand gas versus battery, I'm going to prefer battery. Now, this guy doesn't have the super cool cycling bolt on the inside here. So that is a little bit of a balance act. Um, so you've got some options. I, I let you guys know about gas blowback rifles. I think they're so cool. In fact, I've got a gameplay video of me with a gas blowback rifle down indoors um, and then I also have an overview video of this guy if you guys want to check that out at all. So here are just two options. This one was focused just on cast blowback rifles but just so you guys are aware there are other similar options 
without having to you know put a lot of money into these systems so you have options on the market um and hopefully this was educational overall for you guys if you have any further questions put them down into the comments section below i'll do my best to answer them but we're all done here so you guys take care stay safe stay positive and i'll see you in the next one take care